Hello guys and welcome back. So in this video we are going to set up Dagger Hilt modules. So in the previous video we created our repository and content resolver. So if you have not seen the first video check the link in the description box. So you can see here we created here the media player service and also we had the content resolver and the audio repository. So check the link in the description box for the more information. Now let's create here a new package which is just going to be for our dependency injection. So we can just create here our package and we can just call this di and for that case here we can just create here a new coding class or file and we can just call this service module okay now we can add here several annotation to tell dagger health that this class is going to be a module so a module class is a class in which we can add the binding for a class that we cannot construct or inject. So here we can provide several classes and we can just bind them when we cannot construct or inject. So for example, here a content resolver, we created this class and we can easily construct or inject it here. So we don't, do not need to provide here a, a binding inside this service module. So a class which we do not own, for example, or a third party class, so we can just try to provide it here it's binding inside this at module and when you annotate a class with at module so dagger will just create this class inside a container and also here we have to add another annotation here which is just called at install in and here we can just call this service component So at install in indicates in which hilt container the binding must be available in. So it's just going to be scoped in that class. So for our case, we want this to be available for a service. So we have just added this at install in service component. So they are just going to be added inside that container. And now here we can just try to provide here several variables which we want. Okay, so for our case here, we are just going to use ExoPlayer to play our media. And we want to configure this ExoPlayer to be used inside our service. So we can just tell things which we want to use them. So the first thing here, we want to provide the audio attributes to tell what type of media type we want to play. So for our case here, we can just create here a new function and we can call this provide audio attributes. And this one is just going to return audio attributes. And you have to select this com.google.exoplayer. And here basically now we want to return our audio attributes. We can use audio attributes builder. And here basically we can set the content type. And here we want to set for our case we are just going to use music as our content type. And also we can just set the usage. And here we want to set c.usage media. And we can just import this constant here. And Basically, we can just finish by building here our, our audio attributes. Now, we want to tell Dagger where are these components being created for. And here we can just call at provide. And this at provide tells Dagger that this class we do not own and we cannot construct or inject. So you have just to create it here when we want to create an instance of this class. And for that case, now we can just scope this. Only we get a single component. So we can just call this service component service is scoped so basically this one is just going to be scoped from the service so we just get the same instance when we are just using it in our service so we don't get multiple instances of this same audio attributes okay now let's create here a little room and we can create here our function and we want now to provide the exo player so we can just call here provide exo player now here we can just pass in the application context and also we can just provide here the audio attributes and because we have just created here our audio attributes so Daga now knows how to create these audio attributes and this one is just going to return the exo player now we can use here the exo player interface here to create and use a builder button to create this and basically here we can just pass in the context and we can just call dot build here And basically here we can just pass in also to be and to be true the audio focus. And this one is just going to be automatically set up for us. So for example, if a user is going to remove the headphone, so the audio is going to be paused automatically. So this one, when we use ExoPlayer, we get these things automatically and also handling audio focus is going to be handled automatically. So for example, if there is a notification entering and our audio is playing, so here it can just easily handle the audio focuses. 
for our case. So now we have provided here the exo player. So another thing which we want to provide here is the data source factory. So the data source factory is going to help us to read the data from different sources. Now we can just create here a function and we can call this provide. And also this one is just going to require here to pass in the application context. Can use this the default data source and we can just call the factory here and easily pass in the context so the data source factory helps in creating connection to read data from different sources and we can implement a custom one if the source is not supported so for our case we are fetching data locally we can easily use the default one which suffice our need of caching the data so for example if you are fetching the data from the internet you can just use the http data source and this one is just going to provide the caching mechanism that is going to help us to cache the data and also here we can just copy this here and also what we want to do here, we want to cache our data. Okay, now let's create here our provide function for the cache data. And here we can just pass in again the application context. And also we want to pass in here the data source. And basically this one is just going to return the cache data source factory. And here now we have to get the cache directory. So we can just create here a cache. And basically here now we can just call this media. And after that now we have to get the database provider. So we can just call here database provider. And we can use the standalone database provider. And basically here now we can just pass in here the context. And for that case now we can just create our cache. So this here no op cache evictor meaning that when for example we want to limit our cache to grow in a size so you can just use for example here there is another cache evictor which is just called list recently used cache evictor and here you can just pass for example you want to get the amount so max bytes so if you pass in here 1000 so when the cache reaches this 1000 the list used item is going to be removed inside this cache so for our case we are just passing here no cache evictor and for that case now we can just create and return here our cache and basically now we can just set the cache and here we can just use the data source which we have created here and basically so if anything which is not going to be inside this cache here then it's going to use this upstream data media here to fetch the data source and for our case that is just the content resolver so when the method is not here then it's just going to get this using this data source factory here and also here we can annotate this with at provide so here we provide a cache that can be used to get the data required for our exo player so the cache will be fulfilling the request which we have from our exo player and if not this request will be fulfilled from the upstream sources and for this case here is what we are just going to provide here a default data source factory which is going to fetch from the from the content resolver here to get our data okay so now we have finished to create here our module and as you can see here we have used to provide this audio attributes which is going to be used as a dependence inside here provide exo player and we have provided here our exo player and also we have provided this data source which is just a dependence in order to create here a data source factory and for that case here we have created our cache data source factory now let's come here to our media player service here and inject these variables so the first variable which we want here we can just call at inject and we can create here a let init variable and we can just call this data source factory and for that case also we can just inject here our exo player so basically here now we have injected here our variables now let's try here to build the application and see if the output is going to be okay Okay, so when we build here, we're just getting this error here. We cannot have more than one binding method with the same name. So when we come here to our service module 
you can see that we are just passing here the same name from this provide data source factory and this one is just required to be a cache data source factory now let's try to rebuild again and see so guys our project has built successfully meaning that we don't have any errors and we have injected this variable inside here our media browser service and we can just leave it here for this video so in the next video we are just going to create the media data sources so that we can just provide the data to this media service compact so that it can easily play using the exo player so stay tuned so for now let's leave it here bye bye see you in the next video